Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Samantha. This video is my first plan, my first budget for 2024. I've already looked over the budget planner. I've got my savings goals, my challenges, my um, debts. I know where everything is, is at for now. So this is the first video where I'm setting myself up, cash stuffing, that pay rise money, seeing where it's going to go. It's going to be really weird to do because I'm... I've never had that much money for a long time. I've not paid myself that much money in a long, long time. And even when I was tutoring and teaching, I didn't have that much cash, really, I think. Um, so I'm really looking forward to being able to do that and do this journey with you guys as well. It's nice to know. Uh, and it'll be nice to see, actually, how my brain decides to do this because I'm so used to being so fucking tight with my money because... I've had to be. And then suddenly when you get money, how does that impact you? What what happens then? I'm, I'm curious to see what I'm going to do. So let's do it together. Let's get stuck in. We are cash to stuff in £1,350 today. So in the Ultimate Budget Planner, I'm just going to flick to my current page. So I've already set up my bill tracker i know my money coming in i know my fixed expenses that are going out and my total amount left over is 1374 and i'm going to just take out 1350 because i like to leave a little bit in the bank for a contingency or a little bit of a you know in case i need to use my card and then i've got to put cash in so it just helps keep me on track there so i've got 1350 so i used my little cash breakdown card to give to the bank teller and it's just a little bit easier than having to ask for all the money so then i'm making sure i'm getting exactly what i want so that's all that that's here so hopefully that's going to total this amount and we'll count it together first that's our first job so i'm going to count the fives first and i've got 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 in fives, got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, in tens, and we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 1,040. So that gives me a grand total of 1,350, which is what we were looking for. So my first job is to stuff that into my fluid envelopes for the month so that I know everything's in there. And I do that by looking at my month ahead and seeing what I've got coming up so I know where to plan for and where I want to sort of allocate money. So my month this month, I've got child's birthday party on Saturday. I've got an evening invitation to the wedding on the, on the Saturday, the end of the month. And I've also got, which I'd forgotten about, is a trip with my mum to London. That's already covered in terms of hotel because I was gifted one. 12 months ago which I needed to use up and mum's paid for the train tickets and uh, the show but I do need money to one side for uh, eating and drinking while I'm out there so I'm just going to pop that down to remind me that I'm, I'm doing that so and that's that really so I've nothing else other than that to think on i'll put down a note that school starts back here as well because that'll change in terms of what i need to buy for uh, school lunches and things but other than that yeah that, that that's us so far planned in 
I can adapt this as I go, but the, the whole point of this is to give me an overview so I can stuff my envelopes for the month. So I've got a time for me envelope, groceries, petrol, beauty, eating out, Alex is spending money, Holly is spending money and a miscellaneous envelope as well. So I think what I'm going to do is allocate a set amount for groceries, but I'm doing a really, really tight budget this month so i'm going to try and keep that below 200 pound for the whole month which should be possible i'm hoping so i'm going to put that there i'm so used to working with such a small budget the fact that i've now had a pay rise is a bit surreal to me i'm not used to having so much money left over at the end of every single week or every single month beauty i have no plans for but i just want to sort of accrue it so that if i've got a big event like um, my mom's birthday in september and I want to treat myself or if I want to put towards getting my hair cut or whatever else, then I can do that. So I'm just going to put 20 in there while I, while I can. Holly's spends and Alexander spends are 20 each. And that's been the case for a long time. I don't see why I would need to change that. Time for me and family time, it's sort of the same thing. I'm just keeping all that envelope because it was a shame to waste it. I mean, I quite like the envelope name itself. Eating out, again, I'm not planning on eating out this month. It's it's not something I, I intend to do, but I'd just like to have something in there just in case. So I'm going to put 50 in there. I'll put 50 in family time, and then the rest is going to go into miscellaneous. Now, for now, it's going to be quite a significant amount, I think. And then, because I'm so, it's just a bit new to me, this way of doing it, what I might do is put some into fluid savings and have a look at my savings challenges to start those off. So that'll be quite nice to do today. So 1350, so I'm gonna take the 200 off, take the 60, take 20, take the other 220s off, take the 50 off, and then take the other 50. These are with 930, which is incredible. I'm gonna put, oh, this seems really crazy to be able to do that. I feel like it's too much. I'm going to put 200 into miscellaneous and the rest into my fluid savings, but I haven't decided where I'm going to put it all just yet. So let's take the 200 off. So it's me with 730 left over. So that's a total of. Six hundred and twenty, which means I've got seven hundred and thirty going over into my savings. Now, what I might do then, because I've got quite a lot, and that feels like a lot to be stuffing. I'm just so it feels honestly, like I keep saying it feels really weird to be able to do that, and I'm not used to it. <laughs> But that's okay. That's fine. Maybe I should have more. I don't know. Let's get it into my envelope. I'm going to put 730 to one side into one different pile because I'm going to have a think about that one because it's, it's scaring me. Let's get 730. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 86. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 7, 7, 10. 20, 30, 20, 30, there we go. I've got 30 and this is all for my challenges. I'm going to have to have a think about where I really want to put this. So I'm going to keep that to one side whilst I do that. And then the rest is going to go into my fluid. 
envelope. So let's get that stuffed. So my time for me, my family time envelope is getting 50 this month. My groceries is going to get 200 this month. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. is getting 60 20 40 60 beauty is going to get 20 eating out is getting 50 Alex spends is 20. Holly spends is 20. And then miscellaneous should be 200 pounds. 20, 40, 60, 80. 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200 pounds in miscellaneous. And that's us all stuff. Okay, so I just finished filming my um, my monthly cash stuffing of the 1350. And now I need to do my weekly cash stuffing. So this is going to go in my A7 binder. So my A7 binder has got all my individual categories that I use every week. But it just means that I'm transferring everything from my full month into this one. And this is super handy for me to take with me out and about, fits in my bag, fits in my backpack, whatever I want it to go in. And it's just rather than taking the whole lot out with me, it feels so much safer just to take this with me. If it ever gets lost or stolen, whatever, it's just the equivalent of a, a small amount of money. And it's just super handy. And even in fact, if I just wanted to go uh, to the supermarket, I could just grab my groceries one, just take that small amount. It's got the zip on it, so I can put the change in there as well, which is really handy for me. So I'm gonna have a look over my week coming up. To, to decide where I'm allocating my cash. So I allocate it every four weeks. So of course, every month isn't always a four week month because there's usually more often than not 31 days in a month. I kind of use it to, you know, it's not set in stone. It's whatever fits in with me. So I'm going to be having a look over the month. Like that, wherever, this way. And um, I've just realised, or rather my brother has just saw me, the wedding isn't then. <laughs> it's in February. So I have been chasing him. He kept telling me it's the second. I thought he was winding me up as in the second of January. So this was like the end of December. Um so that's obviously how well I know these people. <laughs> so yeah, I don't have to worry about that at the moment. So that's one less thing to to be thinking about cash stuff in. Right, so the only thing I've got coming up is a birthday party on Saturday. I don't think I need anything for that. I'm pretty sure I've got everything, but I'll double check. And um and Holly's back to school, so it's just really is my groceries to to plan for the school going back. Now both Holly and I have been quite poor recently. We've hardly eaten anything, which isn't good in a way, but it's just like meant the grocery bill has been significantly reduced, which is a bit nuts. But uh, I don't. That's not that's not the point. But the point is, I'm still working on fifty pound every sort of uh, week of based on a four week month. So that's gonna be my biggest. My biggest um cashed up basically so my income for the week and where it's gonna go really is and then it's just 
So I'm just going to fill in my variable expenses. That's these ones, the ones that I'm in and out of. So it's my groceries, petrol. I'm just going to call it TFM for now, time for me, or family time. Eating out. Beauty. Alex and Holly. So I know that I definitely need petrol, for example. Is, example, sorry, so I'm going to put 60 in there. I've, I've got 60 in my head from the time when petrol was an absolute fortune. And I know it doesn't cost that much, but I still budget 60 for the month, even though I hardly spend that at the moment. I'm going to budget 50 for my groceries. And I'm going to put eating out as... What do I give for the month? Let me have a look. Eating out has got 50. Um, what am I doing this weekend? For a birthday party. Nothing major planned. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything regarding needing to eat out. Don't need anything for beauty. Alex, I might need to get his pass renewed for his play centre. Holly will want hers for her clubs. But at the moment, I think that's going to be my budget for this week. So that's 60, 110, 150 quid, which is great. That's fine. That's pretty much on budget. Add those things I expect to be gone. Um, yeah, it's all right. So let's get that one stuffed as well then. So that comes out of my whole month. So nothing is there. Groceries, I'm going to grab 50 out of. I'm going to give myself all 20 to know. If we switch up 20 the seconds, put anything in there. No. Oh. Petrol, I'm taking that out there as well. 60. Beauty's got two turns in, so I'm going to take those two turns out. Put that in there. So I can put back in. And put one of those tens into oops, into groceries. Um right about this is twenty. Take Holly's twenty out as well. And I'll leave the miscellaneous in here. If I do need to put some in, if I do need to spend some miscellaneous, I don't have a specific envelope for it in here. It's just an anomaly. If I come back to it, I'll just leave it sat in here. If I don't spend it, I don't spend it. And that's great. And then I can use it for my savings challenges. So. Let's get this into here this week. So I'm going to put 50 into my groceries. Um, Petrol's getting 60. and Holly are getting 20 each. And that is me done for the week. That is it. That was really weird. I'm going to have to have a good think now about the um, savings challenges and where I want the money to go feel even though it's my money even though i'm not spending it physically it feels weird having that money and then choosing where it goes it's a bit yeah i feel a bit like my heart's going <laughs> right any thoughts on what you think i should do with it and where i should prioritize please do let me know have yourself an amazing day and i'll see you really really soon <laughs> bye